politician do their stump speech over and over and over again. Because there's a moment where, wow, that sounds like they said it for the first time, but they didn't. You know, and, and again, I have to be careful about this on HSN because there's a moment where I go, oh my god, oh, wait, wait, I have to tell you about this thing. Oh, okay. And all of a sudden, I, I know what I'm going to say. But what did I just do? I just evoked a sense of, oh, I just remembered. Mm -hmm. What that does is it changes people's state. They start listening a little bit. Oh, she just went, oh, whoa. There's a sense of urgency about that. We hear a stand-up comic going, you know, last night my son and I were having this conversation. He says that same thing 30, 364 nights a year. Well, you laugh because it's urgency, it's state changing. So when you do a testimonial, literally you can be in the middle of talking, oh, wait, can I tell you this one story? And all of a sudden we're like, okay, yes, what's that story? You know exactly what you're going to say. So sometimes it's how you say it. And that's the difference between print and television, too. So I need five of them, even if you don't use five. Odds are you will, however. You'll either use them here, or use them in conversation, and I have a collection of amazing stories that tell the point. And these are people's stories, testimonials. Now, the last thing I'll need, I want you to write this down, because this will help all of us, because it just will. Your offer. Here's what we decided works best universally. We're going to have a conversation, and you're going to offer something for free. Something that gets people to give you their name and email, gets you to be a customer eventually. And so we finish an interview and say, hey, you know what, guys, of course I do this service, whatever it happens to be, but right now, I'm going to offer, because we're on this show, I've got the seven tips of success. It's a blueprint that works for everybody. It's available right below. This way you can use it anywhere. We don't say what the URL is. Right below, wherever you put it. So right below is this, and I'll tell you, if you click on it, you know, it's, I sell, we have people say, I sell a book on Amazon for $19.99, but if you click on the link below, you're going to get this one for free. How wonderful to give them away. So you need to be thinking now, though, what is it in my world, because you also want to qualify your customer. You don't want everyone clicking on that. You want people who will become your customer. You don't want to waste your time. So it's something that they really want, and it's a funny thing about giving away things, you know, you can give away much more information than you realize, and they'll still become your customer. It used to be the old days, oh, I can't tell them the secrets. No, you can, actually. And then they'll still come back for you. And the truth is, they didn't even really hear the three secrets, even though you told it to them. And we've had that. One of, our, one of my major clients, big webinar guy, in his webinar, he teaches pretty much everything he does that he charges $5,000 for. People sign up. He teaches the exact same thing he taught in the webinar. He's got reports that follow up with the exact same thing he does in the webinar. And he said, people say, wow, you know what? I, I just got it. That is so cool what you said. There's like, I said it six times so far. <laughs> because you don't hear it. And the other thing, too, is even, you know, in the world of speaking, we have some speakers in our world, kind of like stand-up comics, who do the exact same speech over and over and over again. And people show up, the same people. And I kind of wonder, well, why do they keep coming? There's no new information. Well, here's what's changed. You did. You're at a different point. Well, but I didn't think about that. And you hear it newly, and you implement it, and it's like, oh, wow, I didn't get that. Yeah. That's been a phenomenal thing for me. The other thing that was interesting, too, is I used to host a stand-up comedy. I used to host The Laugh Factory, and I got to watch these comics, and two in particular. One was Robin Williams, arguably the greatest improv artist. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, if you watched him over and over and over again, you saw him one time, I saw him 50. Wow. Same improv. <laughs> No idea. I thought I had to keep writing new material. And the other one, which blew me away, was a writer for Jay Leno. He'd ask you a question, hey, where are you from? And he'd have a joke. Hey, what do you do? He'd have a joke. And I'm like, man, he's really good. You know what he was good at? Evoking the right question. Odds are you might have a wife, or you've got a hair issue, because you don't have as much hair as he does, or you've got a whatever issue. He'd ask people, and he had 50 jokes. Mm -hmm. And he'd pick one of them based on the people. I was like, dude, he wrote all 50 of them. He's not improvising anything. Right. I was like, oh, wow. <clears throat> Things you don't realize. OK, so give me an irresistible offer. And we'll tweak it if you don't have one. So who's going to start? Right. I was going to jump into the pond. We're going to give each of us 20 minutes to do this exercise, OK? Here's the exercise. I'm going to ask you to pitch your product. And we'll take it from there. So I'm going to time this to make it very fair. What are we doing, 15? Uh, we're going to do 15 all 15 minutes. minutes. Yeah, but, I'll, but right now, so right now I want 20 minutes. It's conversation, it's oh. coaching. You don't have to pitch for 20. I just want to hear your pitch. I want to see where you're at. Um, and maybe Daphne, would you mind kind of keeping hmm. time for me? Do you have a 
just kind of give me a little hands up. It's not a hard out at 20, but oh, Leah, hi. Sorry about that. So, would you, you look like you guys wanted to start? Well, I just have a clarifying question. <laughs> yeah. Is that a no? <laughs> I struggle with free because that fills up our funnel. Mm. With people that want free shit. Okay. And we might be a high ticket service. Free. You call, You know what? And by the way, you can say hello. I've got an offer for you. I, I don't actually okay. care what it is. If free works, you might say, you know what, guys? I have a special offer for you. Right. It's right below. That makes it even better. Yeah, because I like the, the, for one ruby, you're going to get this for 147 and oh, by the way, I've got another one. If you buy now... All right, so let's start with you. you. Yeah. Let's start with you. So, hi, Richard. What's your name? Richard, how you doing? <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> All right, so, and you have a good angle on him. You can actually, you can actually kind of take yeah. some of that because this is important to me because I want to see this transformation. This is what I'm excited about. So if you want to... Tell me your name, by the way. Odie. Odie. So if you want to just make sure we're kind of isolated on him, it's more important than, than us at the moment. Okay. So talk to me. Yes, sir. What do you do? Well, we help identify uh, the wasteful marketing spend uh, for your online presence. So what I mean by that is you're spending money to get views, like in Facebook ads, Google pay -per click You're spending probably 30% more than you should be and you don't even realize it based on this uh, industry term called click fraud. Okay, let's start with who is your audience? Well, correct. My audience is anyone that is spending money on online ads okay. to get eyeballs to their website. Okay, so it's kind of important to know when you start talking that correct. you identify who it is you're talking to. Correct. And you really only want qualified leads, I would assume, kind of talking to you. You don't want everyone talking to you. Correct. Okay. So you, everybody here or anybody here spending money on Facebook for ads? Do you? All right, so you are all his customer. Yes, I so I want you to put your customer ears on. We're doing a little interview, and at some point, let me know when you want more information about what he's doing. So would you tell me about what you do? So uh, we have a proprietary software that has identified an industry-wide problem worth over $7.6 billion this year alone. Based on the average of forty percent. Oh, you can turn on your turn on your recorder. I want you to record the comments, and I want you to hear also how you come across. How I come across? Well, you're the one on camera. I haven't had a drink yet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Well, tell the bus driver to do it tomorrow. Well, it's five o'clock somewhere. Yeah, okay. Okay. Before they go on camera. So <laughs> All right, just trying to find uh, um, so, yeah. Now, here's another thing that I want from you. So not only is it what the problem is, there's a thing about people have to like you. They have to know how much you care about they care about you know. Yeah. So you're going to tell me what you do. Keep going. So you're, you're, what you do is? Essentially, we identify uh, the malicious and fake traffic clicking on your ad spend, wasting your marketing dollars. OK. Why is this important to you? Because every dollar you spend, you want to make sure you, as the business owner, gets the maximum return for every dollar you spend. So that's why it's important to me. Why is, why is this business important to you? Because I have such a strong passion for, for so many of our clients that we've heard life-changing success stories. Let me give an example. We, a, a very good friend of mine put his life savings, him and his wife's life savings, into a nutraceutical product. They put this product on Amazon, and they, they went out to all their friends and put affiliate links in there. And then lo and behold, seven days later, they had about 3,000 different orders over a, over a two-day period of time. What they didn't know was um, two days later, they had refund chargebacks for all 3,000. Oh, my God. So not only did they ship out the product, they had all 3,000 uh, returns. Um, and they paid out... 40% on the affiliate links. They were on the verge of bankrupt and they didn't even know it. And what the real problem was, this was all generated from click farmer, click farms. Click what? Click farms. Click like, farms. Like okay, you, farm. okay, you need to articulate that word and even if I have to stop you guys, because I don't know, what, yeah. I've never I've heard of a set of, you know, farming fish, but I've never heard of a click farm. It was actually a manufactured robot that buys stolen credit cards on the black market once a week. And these robots go and take down newbies who are trying to generate and sell stuff online. And, it, and it's just, it's a whole black market system. And, 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 you know, he almost went bankrupt. And then he called me up and, and in a panic. And he said, we have enough to make one more run, but can you help me? And so truth, truthfully, 
we, we installed the siphon. Three days later, we were, we were able to, to prevent the same exact attack okay. two, two so, different times. So stop, and, and this is what you want to hear. Well, number one, he got emotional. We love that. You get a sense that he cares. Mm -hmm. um, I like that you told the story, but you got to be careful of words. Like we installed the siphon. If you say a word that we don't know, we as listeners stop listening for a moment, and our head goes, what? And all I can hear is, I don't know what that means, I don't know what that means, that, that's what's going on in my brain right now. Yeah, is that so, a brand name, or is that a It's the term? name of the company, yeah. Okay, okay. so brand when you name. say that, just to be aware, and I'm hyper doing this for everybody, so we go back we to the We our software. Call, you feel free to say okay, that, we, but just... We installed our software. We installed our proprietary software, software. Yes. That took you how long to build? Uh, over, over 12 months in development. Okay, so it took, it took I, mean, I would say over years. I would say years. Well, it's more impressive. Yeah. I'm sure you've been doing all of this for years. Totally. And you yeah. have hundreds of thousands, millions, with dollars to invest your time. Time yeah, and money. Are you writing this down? Because these are these are the little things that you guys will forget and not realize. Forms. And be careful of what the point is. You don't need to get to the end of this story just yet. Oh, yeah. We have, here's credibility. You're going to fill in all of these holes. Before the problem is solved. This well, problem. we're not, I'm not worried about where. I just want to make sure that there's a checklist here. We want to check off everything on the checklist, which I should create a checklist. So credibility. For we, or for Kevin, we've created a, here's what our company is, a proprietary software. We've spent tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, over a period of years. Wow, I, I get that they're heavily invested in this. Now I have to listen. The company is called Siphon. Why did you call it Siphon? Why did we call it Siphon? Yes. One too many drinks and <laughs> That's actually true. <laughs> okay, that was another thing that you said that I didn't like. You have to hear this. He said the word truthfully as though... Everything it, else isn't. Yes. Be very careful about that. We all say this. Come on, honestly, this is a real story. Because everything else I must have said is a lie. Be care, but it's, it's a funny thing about who says that. So, siphon has a meaning to it, yes? Uh, the meaning is... is yeah, after a long conversation, is we wanted to really siphon out what the true traffic is and block out all the bullshit. A siphon, isn't that how you just take out all the bad stuff in a situation? That's what siphoning means. And only, and only find all the good stuff. Right, so leave the drink part out. Let's say he would call the company siphon because here's, again, yeah, to describe the name of your company. We had a company called Reebok. They're not Reebok. Rocker Box. Rocker Box. Yeah. Do you know what Rocker Box is, though? Ahead. Yeah, Rocker Box is a is a the sifter that sifts th through all the sand to get the gold nuggets. Right. All right. Well, so that, it's a cool company name, but that's a similar concept. Yeah. 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 And then when you say the name, which is cool, yeah. then you have to say how it applies. So to siphon it out. So what we do is we siphon out all the noise, all the you know bad things to get to the real good nuggets. Right. So each one of those little things you have to close down is really more important than you realize. And then I love the story and I love the emotion. I want you all to write down the word, my mission is. You're going to say that tomorrow at some point. You know, guys, my mission is to, we buy into a mission. You don't have a job or a company. Right. You have a passion. Correct. So we go back to this guy and then I want to now also a little technique. Y'all waiting to find out what happened at the end of the story? Aren't you? <laughs> Here's a crazy thing. You did what's called, you opened a loop. So my brain got lost in the whirlpool of siphon. We just identified what that is. And now my brain is going, well, did the guy survive? He had one thing left. Don't you want a cool technique is you can open a loop at the beginning of a conversation and not close it for a couple of minutes if you want someone to listen to the whole conversation. Because they're like, oh, did, he, did they survive? And what happened? Uh, well, <laughs> so um, you know, after he called me up in a panic, um, we set up our software, that, you know, it's called the Siphon. It's taken us a couple of years to really develop hundreds of thousands of dollars to really identify exactly how we can, can solve this problem and, and, and save multiple business owners going through the same, same problem. Um, so lo and behold, we, we installed that. Um, he generated a little bit more traffic and what we found was he survived two identical attacks from the same malicious um, robotic uh, click farms uh, that tried to take down his website, and, and we were able to prevent that and, and actually save his business. Okay, so I like the story, but now we only care how it applies to us. Right. In fact, do you want to, do you want to take your camera, my camera, and move it over just a little bit here? Sure. Do you want? 
So here's where I want to go with this, is 